For our HPM 350 Regions project, we chose to talk about the wine regions of Walla Walla. This is by Kyla, Cameron, Ashlyn, Noah, and Joshua. We hope you enjoy. Walla Walla is a county located within the southern eastern region of Washington State. It is home to beautiful acres, land, and lots of water, which makes it perfect for vineyards and wine production. Walla Walla was actually named after the many rivers the valley holds, which is good for growing. It is a smaller town, but the population has grown like crazy within the past few years. The population is currently over 60,000 and growing. A lot of visitors come to town specifically to visit the vineyards, but summer is the most popular time for visitors. There are currently 2,933 acres being taken up of vineyards. 20 of those are vineyard locations. And then the fun fact about that is the vineyards are all outlining the shape of a diamond within the region. And the region is so large that they have to stretch it within the southern eastern region of Washington into the northeastern region of Oregon. There are many different varietals that are grown in Walla Walla. First, let's talk about their biggest selection, which is their red varietals. Of their vineyards, their top five red wines are Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and Malbec. These are fairly standard to grow at wineries, but are well represented in Walla Walla. However, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and Merlot make up a significant portion of the vineyard, more specifically, 95%. And even though Walla Walla is known for creating exceptional red wines, they also have a great white wine selection. Jumping over to Walla Walla's white varietals, which is not as large as the reds, they grow Chardonnay, Resline, Viognier, and Arborino. Even though there's not as many, there's still a wide selection. And speaking of their Arborino, this is one of the hardest varietals to find in Walla Walla because there's only one winery that serves it, which is fairly new. The wine regions in Walla Walla are mostly known for their red wines. Um, they're mainly known for their Syrah, which is a dark skinned grape used to make darker red wines. And um, grapes produced in this area normally include Barbera, Cabernet Franc, Caminere, Chardonnay, Merlot, and about 20 other grapes that are produced in this region of Walla Walla. Now on to the financial impact of the region. The wineries and vineyards, being the way that they are, they attract multiple people to visit and spend their money over the years. This ultimately helps the economy in the area, provides uh, financial success for all those wine biz businesses. In 2018 alone, it was estimated that related to the wine industry in Walla Walla were 2,400. 484 jobs, $100 million in income for those jobs. And the industry generated $17 million in tax revenue. These explicit facts go on to show that the Walla Walla wine industry is one of the most powerful and important economic drivers for that region and for Washington in general. There are many events that are to the history of Walla Walla's success in the wine industry. The first was the Missoula floods, where waters from the flood entered the Columbia River Gorge. These backed up rivers and created a lake about 30 miles from Walla Walla covering the valley. This water brought rich soils that are the cornerstone of their success. In 1859, the first recorded grape was planted in the region. Around this time, A.B. Roberts began developing nurseries with grapes brought from France, and this was an integral part of the start of grape growing in this area. In 1870, when the gold rush happened, Walla Walla was a major stopping point on the way to mines, creating a market for luxury goods in the area, such as wine. At this time, there were a surprising 26 saloons, all serving local wines in the small town with only 4,000 residents. In 1917, prohibition happened and the wine business died, but homemade wine thrived, creating the continuation of wine in the region. In 1977, the first commercial winery, 
Leilani Cellar opened their doors and became the first commercial winery in the region. And lastly, in 2001, the Walla Walla Valley Wine Alliance started and established the licensing of 50 local wineries in the area, making the region what it is today. Walla Walla Soil Oil has very unique influences that make it successful for wine growing. With the help of the Missoula floods, the soil in Walla Walla is great for wine growing for many reasons. This includes lava and flood waters from this Missoula flood that caused erosion in the area. Secondly, the erosion left the perfect combination of loam, silt, and cobbles in the soil, leading to the success of grape growing. The great weather in Walla 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 is also integral to the success of their wine region. In Walla Walla, they get two more hours of sunlight than California. Along with this, 300 days of sunshine a year leads to great conditions. Their position east of the Cascades limits the amount of rainfall they receive, leading to farmers being able to control how much water the crops are getting. Lastly, long warm summer days and cool short nights lead to the success of grapes in the area. Here is a list of the the references we used to collect information on this presentation. Thank, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to us today. We loved learning about the wine regions within Walla Walla, and we hope you did too.